Hey everybody, welcome to another amazing episode of The Unbox Boys! I'm Dave, along with my son Elias. Hello. Can I make a confession to you? No. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about opening this package. Why? Here's why I'm nervous. When I saw this figure online, it looked so good. It did. I showed the picture to my wife, some other people. They thought it was a photograph of the person. It was so good. I'm nervous because my expectations are really high <laughs> for this figure, and I don't want to be let down. But most of the time, I haven't been, particularly with hot toys coming from Sideshow. So this box doesn't tell you much other than it's from Hot Toys and I just got it uh, from Sideshow yesterday. I haven't even taken it out of the cardboard shipper yet. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that with you guys, because I love you. <laughs> Ready? Let's, uh, let's check it out here. So let's... Uh, Don't cut your hand. <laughs> cut away from me, cut away. And that. All right, it's gonna be shiny and new. Never before touched by human. Well, it's probably been touched by. Somebody had to pack it in here, so. All right, don't want to cut the box it's in. What is it, you may be wondering? It's upside down. <laughs> it is upside down. Uh -huh. Is it Captain America? It shouldn't be Captain America, because that's not what I ordered. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's from the movie Winter Soldier. All right. right? Here it comes. Here it comes. You can see the name, and it's backwards still. It is backwards, <laughs> but it is Nick Fury. We, have, we can't even see the front. All right. I'm going to, okay. I'm going to suspend the uh, drama here a little more, or keep the, build the anticipation. Take it out of the hermetically sealed no, don't, don't let me look. package. Okay, don't look at the front. I'm not looking. Okay. Take it out of there. <laughs> it's probably going to be like really bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a hand puppet. Yeah. Okay. Like a sock pu puppet. Okay. Let's take a look at the back of the package here first, shall we? Yeah. Nick Fury, you can see there. A 1-6 scale collectible figure from Hot Toys. Uh, all these people were involved in the uh, the making of this figure. Uh, a lot of details there. Then the side. You Don't can look at the front. You can see that. <laughs> the other side. I'm not looking at the front. You can see that. And the front. Oh, it's just a picture. Wait, or is that the actual toy? I can't tell. That's a good sign. Either that's a photo or that's a really good. Uh, I think it's a photo. You that's think so? A photo. Yeah. I don't know. Let's open it up and check out the slap. And once again, Hot Toys does not disappoint mm -hmm. on this. And I'm so glad because, like I said, I was uh, a little worried about how this was going to look. But uh, this looks fantastic. A yeah, great likeness of Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, first, for the slap scale, let's check out the uh, sculpt. But before we get there, let's take a quick look at what it came with, okay? Uh, exclusive Hot Toys uh, Silica. <laughs> which is just nothing. Okay. Uh, some extra hinges for the hands, which is always handy. See what I did there? Uh, speaking of hands, extra hands here. We've got a couple of uh, fisted hands. That to focus there, uh, which are done very nicely. Lots of nice detail there, as far as that sculpt goes. And then uh, there's a regular right hand, kind of like. Okay. I don't know what that's used for. Maybe like. I love some. the details because these are like these. Uh, if I can get in there, these driving gloves, and they look just like that. They've got those little ventilation holes in there. They've really done a nice job on that. Really very cool. And then the other one holds the gun. Yeah, which I already put in there. And also, since we're kind of doing the gun right now too, mm -hmm. uh, the gun actually, it's easier to see on the side, but it, it can go back like you're oh, nice. cocking the gun. Yeah. 
And Sorry, uh, they can also just go off. Oh, wow. Some nice attention to detail there. Is there, yeah. is there one in the chamber or no? There's what? Like a bullet in there? No, there's not. Okay. So he's, he's carrying... Uh, <laughs> Even the snaps on the gloves there looks great. Yeah, it does. Okay, so then uh, they give you a spare eye patch just in case the other one wears out. By the way, if you happen to uh, get one of these, note that they don't want you to leave the eye patch on for extended periods of time uh, because it uh, it could discolor the the head sculpt itself. So uh, now you're wondering, well, if you take the eye patch off, what's underneath? Well, we'll show you here in just a little bit. Uh, he, uh, what other figure do you know that comes oh. with its own iPhone? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he comes with the... Uh, it, I don't know if you can see it, but it says ears everywhere, like in The Winter Soldier. Oh, okay. When it when he's talking to Captain America, but he's he's in there when he comes home mm -hmm. and stuff, and he can't talk. That's but, yeah, pretty Then sweet. it's kind of shiny, kind of like a phone iPhone or yeah. something would be like. Right. Um Let's see. We also have a. Little oh, they say mobile phone. Technically, it's not an iPhone. It's a mobile right, phone right. on there. So, but and um, that is what the, the uh, chip for like they do something. They they do something with this. Like it has the shield logo on it. Okay, like, like secret information. Yeah, on there. they they yeah. have the shield logo back on it. Back up a little. Back if, up a little. You can see it. There you go. Oh wow. Is it upside down? I can't tell. It's kind of weird. I think okay. it's upside down. Yeah. Okay. It was upside down. So like yeah. if you kind of see that. Is it the Hydra like, logo or the shield? Oh, that's the shield logo. That's okay. the shield one. Okay. And they nice. they do that with something, but that looks really good too. Yeah. And then uh, they have this. Uh, I thought it was a holster, but it's actually a sling for when his arm is hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to take his jacket off to do it, but uh, it kind of fits in there and wraps around his chest and holds his arm in a sling there. Pretty cool. We'll show that to you later. So then, on to the figure itself. Let's take a look at the uh, sculpt. This head it's sculpt. Good. It's fantastic. Uh, as far as his head sculpt goes, there would be no mistaking that that is Samuel L. Andrew Jackson. Andrew Garfield. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, they've done a remarkable job of capturing that. Uh, Detail-wise, got a little you know scruff. If I can get that better focus for you, some, I mean, scruff on the beard uh, there, even just the skin tone, I mean, you can kind of see, I mean, pores and lines on the head. Mm -hmm. nope. It's just fantastic. There, there okay, goes we'll, the eye yeah, we'll take that off here if I can do it without breaking it. It just kind of, yeah. Okay. Um, as far as the eyes go, even with that off, you can see even better uh, some of the detail. They've got some scarring and... Uh, We'll get to, to more with the paint, I guess, because the difference in the eyes and all that. But uh, just as far as the sculpt goes, it looks great. We already showed you the, the hands and how great they look. Really, only the other sculpted part that shows is his, his shoes. The rest of it is kind of hidden underneath clothing here. But uh, It's got some pretty fancy shoes, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but for the sculpt, uh, I would say it's, it's fantastic. I'd give mm -hmm. it, uh, on the slab scale, full point. Full point. For the likeness... Do we even need to discuss this? Full point. Full point. On to articulation. The head moves around more than any human would want it to move around. <laughs> um, but lots of possibility there. Nick uh, Fury actually goes on to be the human owl. <laughs> is that, yeah. <laughs> um, as far as, let's take the jacket yeah. off here so we can get a little better look on the articulation. It'll, even just the the without it, it looks like what he he looks like without yeah. his his jacket on. Yep. Um, so articulation, uh, his arm. Let's see, it only goes up about that much. Uh, it does have a bend there at the elbow with lots of good range on that, uh, and it does reach back uh, a bit too. As far as the head uh, up and down. Really great range of motion there. Almost painful. Uh, as far as the uh, crunch, I mean, he can pretty much bend all the way over uh, that way. Can't touch his toes. Yeah. <laughs> and a great back bend, so great articulation there. I'm noticing the body here is actually uh, it's soft. I mean, there's something deep down, but it's kind of... He's benign too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it almost feels like, you know, a guy's belly would. I mean, it's... 
Well, <laughs> unless you've got a belly like mine, which, you know, no. <laughs> <laughs> which feels like steel. No, uh, <laughs> not even close. Uh, so as far, yeah. So as far as twisting goes, uh, a little bit. Uh, normal human parameters, I would say. <laughs> uh, as far as legs, his pants are a little tight there. So uh, you do get a bit of a forward kick, not too much back. Uh, a twist up here at the thigh. Uh, feels like a double jointed knee, perhaps. Uh, and then. Whose knees are double jointed, though? Looks like he's got a. No, it doesn't twist there. It looks well, like it should, but it doesn't. Um, and then the uh, foot, great range of motion on the feet there. So, uh, as far as uh, articulation goes, uh, lots of opportunity mm -hmm. for poses. Yeah. Full point. Full point. So then for the paint, uh, first the soft goods oh, here, good. the clothes. I mean, uh, it's the cloth is, is well done. The material is done uh, nicely. His jacket is uh, really fantastic, actually. I mean, it's uh, some nice differential material uh, there. Uh, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be kind of a, a leather. Actually, it kind of feels almost like a faux leather on these pieces here. But then even the buttons, just great detail there, uh, even on the belt. Pockets, does anything go? Can you open the pockets? You can. You can even go in the pockets there. Put like you put this phone. phone. Yeah. Um, on the inside, I mean, it just looks like a real jacket. I would, if this were full size, I would buy this jacket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't look as cool as Samuel have, L. Jackson have does. Them. But, uh, they have like Nick Fury jackets. Do they? All right, stuff. might have to look that up. So yeah, <laughs> so that's fantastic. Then you've got the uh, the head sculpt, as we kind of already looked at closely there. But as far as the paint on that goes, phenomenal. Great skin tone uh, on there. It's not just a solid thing. You can you can see uh, there's some variants. I mean, it looks like it looks human. It looks real. Yeah. The eyes. Uh, uh, they're both looking in the same direction, which is good, even though one is damaged. And even just the detail they did, I don't know if you can tell or not, but how this one's just a little bit dull compared mm -hmm. to this one, not as, as clear because of the damage he has there. Again, the paint on the uh, uh, the face, the paint on the, the hands, even the paint on the gun, yeah. uh, I think was done really well. So uh, for the paint on this, full point. Full point. So all in all, another stellar job from Hot Toys and Sideshow mm -hmm. on this Captain America Winter Soldier, Nick Fury. I uh, thank you for not disappointing. Thank you for living <laughs> up to the photographs. It makes me uh, even more excited about the old man Luke Skywalker I pre-ordered mm. that's coming later this year because <laughs> that looked about like this too. Great photograph. and. Uh, as far yeah. as the prototype, so I'm excited about that. So for the Nick Fury Hot Toys 1-6 scale figure, it gets a 4 out of 4 on the slap scale. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, be sure to slap that thumbs up and share it with your friends. Click our circular logo in the top left to subscribe to our channel. It's absolutely free. And there's a link to another video you might like in the bottom left. If you want to reach out to us, comment or check out our info in the description below. And above all, remember, God loves you. It's the truth. And Jesus is the proof. The Unbox Boys.